What are you planning to do to me? <laughs> Yo, bro, relax. Hello, everyone. Under Pasheep, and today, guys, we are playing Rail of Mobius, a vision novel where we go back in time to investigate the murder of me and my friends. Only death and time treat everyone equally. That's what a great man once said, but that is incorrect. Time is not equal. The reason for that is that time is defined by man. If we just change the definition, the length of time will change. Let's take the second, for example. Between the years 1000 and, well, yeah, 1000, in 1960, a second was defined as one, oh, what the fuck, 86400, I don't know, bro, of an average solar day. Between the years of 1960 and 1967, a second was defined as that number of the time of Earth spent to make a full rotation on the sun in the year of 1960. In the modern days, a second is defined as the duration of that number, period of uh, radical corresponding to the transition between the two levels of the ground state. I, bro, what the f My brain! The point is, time is not an absolute and unchanging thing. Even on Earth. We still live in different times. Because of time zones, some people are living in the present day, while others are living the following day, and others are living the day before. So what is the present? What is the past? What is the future? Where is real time? Ooh. This is a game, uh, look at it, juicy time? Just numbers? Location? Unknown? Okay, guys, we, uh, we're up on another visual novel. We're gonna invest, all I know is, uh, we're like in a time loop or some shit on an underwater train, and we gotta investigate our own murder. Love this shit like that. The ear piercing scream of the alarm continues to rev, is that supposed to be vibrate? To vibrate? I know they just added the English translation, translation, so things might be kinda weird. The flashing of red warning light illuminates the space. Oh god, oh, we about to die, die. As if suddenly pulling the brakes from the stalling car shook violently. Once again. Whoa! The sound of the alarms was so loud it felt like our eardrums were about to be ruptured. As if only being shaken by a giant, the entire car flipped to its side. Oh shit! Are we dead dead? My head slammed heavily on something. Oh, oh god! Warm blood flowed down my face, and I was losing my losing my losing consciousness. Hey guys, guys, this is a really good game I've heard, so we're just gonna give it a chance. Besides, I can't English anyway. In my fading consciousness, I heard some worrisome sounds coming from the reinforced glass of the uh, car windows. Looking in the direction of the sounds, I saw that the windows had crack developing. Oh shit! Water was seeping through the cracks. Uh, wait! I continued to struggle, trying to escape. My impending doom, but opposite to my will, my body refused to move. Oh, that, that did not sound good. The crack grew and grew. Wait, I told you to wait. Don't you fucking do it. Water slowly stepped in, steeped into the car, flooding the floor beneath me. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Ah, uh, damn. I don't want to die yet. Oh, God. I haven't even played Kingdom Hearts 4, bro. Why? As I'm trying to swallow everything, large amounts of water ruptured through the walls of the car. Rushing in, an endless wave of clear liquid assaulted me, drowning me completely. I tried to open my mouth to scream, but the water quickly filled in the void that is my mouth, silencing any sounds I attempted to make. My body grew cold, and I was gradually losing my strength. I di- Okay, I just die? Karma has been set, tragedy was inevitable. It was not, not until a long time later that I realized that this was the beginning of everything. Ooh, so that must have been the f my first, like, death. Location, start station, chibi me, looking mad cute. Cheese, bro! Ren, <laughs> woohoo! Oh, shit, I threw my arms up in excitement. Woohoo, bitch! We here! Standing at the start of the starting train, the time traveler, I couldn't help but kneel down and share in excitement. I'm finally here, bro! Woo! Kneeling me down, other students from other schools looked at me as if I'm um, some kind of monster. Oh, that's me? Uh, Ren! The girl besides me quickly pulling me up, um, uh, pulling me up from the ground. Everyone's looking at us. Please stop shouting so loudly. 
but this is the time traveler. The time traveler. I'm pointing at the white train with 12 cars. Train. Cool. It's cool train. I'm excited. It's something many people won't get to see in their entire lifetimes. It's right in front of our eyes now. It's normal to feel excited. More like all the students who aren't cheering. Like me are crazy, bro. Sorry, my, my inner... The hell was that? Alright, that was weird. Oh, what the hell? Passing by. <laughs> Hearing my words, the student in front of me looked at me with a dumbfounded expression. Uh, sorry, everyone. Ren's uh, just too excited. He didn't do it on purpose. Please forgive him. Cecile ba uh, bowed down and apologized profusely to the surrounding students. Her waist-length hair swayed in her motion. Yo, this the girl interest? <laughs> the girl beside me is Cecile. My childhood friend? Bro, that's how you had to say. We've been together for a long time. Oh, together? Oh, you mean as- Okay, damn it. Uh, as long as I had memories from the past. Although, that often gives birth to some rumors that we're dating. Did not change how we got along with one another. Bro, it don't have to be a rumor though, that's all I'm saying. I should get I mean she look cute. She she's really polite, bro. I'm just saying. You can shoot your shot. No? Okay. Because what a worrisome kid. Did I just slap her ass? What the f I said <laughs> I, uh, I said to the students in front of me while uh, pressing down the head. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. What? Oh, okay. All right, all right. I'm just tripping. I'm tripping. The seal apologizes. Uh, already apologized like this. Please forgive her, okay? <laughs> oh, but you better beat my ass. No, Ren, you're insane. Although we have already. We're not already high school students, in my eyes. She is still a little girl who followed behind me all those years ago. The seal and the students in front of us looked, with me at, looked at me speechless. Although we are already high schools, wait, uh, I think it's a bug. Hmm, looks like I still have to look after her. Those are my words! She's already adorable. Ooh, underwater city? Constructed by the Cashews Corporation, I'm sorry. The 12 car train of pure white known as the Time Traveler has become a world renowned tourist attraction. The station where the time traveler lies is located 102 meters below sea. Oh god. Normally for a regular school like ours, this place is where we would be impossible for us to visit in our lifetimes. But luckily, the heir to the Karis Corporation, the Kaiba Corporation, is enrolled in our school. Though her arrangements, we were given the privilege of writing the time traveler for our school graduation. Back then, when the news was announced during our morning assembly, the cheering of students was so loud, I felt like it was it would tear the roof right off. Like, damn, bro. That bitch is loud, you know what I'm saying? Cecile, do you know how amazing this journey we are about to go on is? Like, it's we're under fucking water, bro. How great. Contrast to my excitement, Cecile seems rather uninterested. Wait! We are literally 102 meters on. Alright. You know what, bro? Exactly. No, I get it. I get it, bro. A time traveler will spend 48 hours traveling through the 3,940 kilometers of under sea tunnels, allowing us to take you in all the mysterious and fantasy of the ocean. Oh! The train is 900 meters long and can reach a maximum speed of 200 miles. Wait, kilometers per hour. Oh, wow. She doesn't give a fuck about the train or my interest. There's an endless line of booking customers. You can only book a ride three years from. Three years! A train ride? I mean, it does sound pretty awesome, but Jesus. Oh. You are so uninterested. Aren't you just brushing me off for the past few minutes? Absolutely what she's doing. Oh. B bitch, say oh one more time. See what happens. Oh. And this person. is all thanks to Missy of the Kaiba Corporation, all the students only a couple dozen dollars for the sake of formality. I purposely love the conversation in a direction that she would be interested in. But if it's a regular customer, it's said that the cost of having this ride once uh, totals to around $70,000! Bro, what the kind of train ride is this? Oh, really? Is she, uh, bro, is she a gold digger? Is my best friend a gold digger? Cecile's eyes light up. The time traveler is amazing! Oh, so when money's involved, <laughs> you're interested. I see. As if she turned into a different person, she looked at me. She looked at the white train with an extraordinary interest in her eyes. The length of the train is three. Oh, I'm sorry, what? 3,600 Herms gold handbags? Oh, okay. 
Speed is a two thirds of a Mercedes GT. Okay, all right. That's a weird way to convert the units. Idiot's willing to throw seventy thousand dollars down the drain. Such an invoted method of suicide. You've already have to wait three years to the queue to do it. That's a good point. Not only are you waiting three years, you're fucking dropping seventy thousand dollars on this bitch. Is that how you understood it? Is that how I originally introduced this ride? Seventy thousand dollars will be traveling seventy thousand units. Se seventy. I'm sorry. What? Letting us enjoy the size of beauty of seven thousand, right? Seventy thousand. No one understands what you're saying anymore. I bro, I was having a stroke. Although they successfully caught our attention, it seemed like it was. I was in. A, it was completely in the wrong direction. The gleam in her eyes seemed can't can't. Contemated, um, yes, with a stench of pennies. I sighed, holding my head in frustration, like, bro, it's only money with these bitches, bro. They never just want a, a guy with a good personality. Like always, she's a girl who sees nothing but money. Wow. Wh who are you calling money loving? Bitch, you! Who else? Lucia waved her hand in denial. This is so called being calculating, an essential trait for being a good wife or mother. Oh, yeah, or being a good gold digger. I'm just saying. A good wife or mother. So, in the eyes of a good wife or mother, so that's how it is. Good wife or mother, huh? 70,000. 70,000! 70,000! Brace. Wait, what? Brace rice of pork? 150,000? I'm lost. Big bowl. Oh, okay. Big bowl, brace rice of pork. 300. Wait. 300,000. 600,000. What the fuck is going on? 1.5 million. Why is she getting bigger? Run! You bastard. Oh, right. She gets excited for money. Are you saying that I'm not worth nothing? Oh, no. Don't tell me you want to see you as something valuable. Damn! Ah! Ah, my life points! She ain't gotta do me like that. I couldn't find a good response. You know what, bro? I mean, I'm sorry. Hiya! Cecilia struggled her giggle and looked at me with a devilish stare. What's wrong, Ren? Cat got your tongue? A bitch, you're talking about a conscious Glock and you keep playing. Looking at her trend smile, I couldn't help myself. Whoa, oh, bro, hold no. It, it looked like something else just happened there. I'm just saying. How, how you, you didn't have to pinch my cheeks. Oh, what kind of cheeks did I'm saying? <laughs> no? Okay. It's your fault for making fun of me first. Sorry, you shouldn't have gotten the idea that you were good at- a good boy. That you were a good person. You have nothing good at in you at all. I'm even more pissed off now hearing you say that. Yes, uh, I 100% uh, agree. As if- As if we are agreeing, a familiar voice spoke behind us. You two really get along with each other. I'm really envious. Who- did who just slap her ass? We do not get along well at all. Yo, is this is this Ryan? Is this the best friend? We turned our heads simultaneously. The person speaking was a sporty male with muscular built and short hair. Sounds like Ryan to me. I mean, they look they look just alike. Even got the same hair. Speaking of childhood friends, this is another person who grew up with alongside each other. Oh shit! And that person is in front of us, Ryan. That's Ryan. I don't know why you two idiots want to continue arguing, but right now you better stay quiet. After hearing what Ryan said, we finally realized that everyone in the station, except for me and Cecile, was silent, staring at the stage in front. Is there some kind of event going on? It's all thanks to the maiden of the Ka Kaiba Corporation, Luna, that we can ride on the Time Traveler. So it's only natural that we ask her to make a speech to everyone before we head out. The Kyber Corporation! I just can't pronounce that, bro. It's a seal, but I don't know. A corporation is so massive that it ranks among the top 10 largest corporations in the world. Its influence, like a spider web, spread out, reaches at all industries imaginable. Finances, electronics, logistics. Uh, no, not law. law yeah. You know what? Logistics, fuck you. Information, military, medical, architecture, energy, culture, politics, any kind of industry you can imagine. You can find traces of the Kyber Corporation in them. Sounds like either. A girl named Luna, despite being a senior in high school, is already named to be the sole heir to this massive corporation. Goddamn. She really lives in a completely different world from us. Agreed. 
Although we are enrolled in the same school, I rarely see her for the these two years. What kind of person is she? You know, probably give him a different voice. <clears throat> they say that she's a genius. She's adept in, in instruments, board games, sports, and dancing. To name a few. Despite being only 18 years old, she's already mul written multiple numerous papers that have made names in multiple areas. It's not surprising that you rarely see her. Because she rarely comes to school in the first place. Hey, we've known each other for so long already. You should know that I'm not asking about these kinds of superficial and useless information. <sighs> Let me ask again. What kind of person is she? She's hot. <laughs> yeah! We, bro, we we get it, bro. I'm glad he understands. How hot are we talking here? Are we talking caliente or are we talking like... Eh? Beyond your imagination. Good. This is what useful information should be. Bro, I'm here for it. This is the bromance of bromances and I want to see where this goes. What, did you just slap his ass? Hey, yo, you don't talk about my boy's ass, bro. What the hell's wrong with you? No, you should <laughs> No, shouldn't this be an extremely superficial and useless information? Cecilia looked at me in disgust as uh, Solo and I held our fist up. Seriously, we've known each other for so long already. We Don't you understand already? This is talk between real men. Real chads! By the way, would a person like Luna enroll in a regular school such as ours? <laughs> how would I uh, know? Fuck, how would I understand the logic of rich families? Probably just want to experience the life of peasants. <laughs> it would be nice if it was just that. In truth, I've heard some strange rumors. What kind of rumors? The reason that Luna so rarely comes to school is that she is conducting some kind of dangerous experiment. And these kinds of uh, experiments use humans as materials, anyway. Um, what? Just when I wanted to question further, a cheerful a cheer interrupted in the crowd, forcing my question back into my mouth. I looked towards the direction of the commotion. Huh? Oh my god, is that a whale? Is that shit Buddha? Oh! Is that a whale? <laughs> yeah, I was playing, guys. Once again, her beauty made me speechless. Like, shit! Bro, that white hair, bro. Something about white. white yeah. Something about bitches with white hair, bro. Mmm. Mmm. Standing in front of me, <laughs> in front of everyone, Luna, a long silver hair that reaches to her waist. A shiny Kaiba family badge attached to her collar, a symbol of her uniqueness. All the movie stars and models on TV are one in a million beauties. However, everyone has a different uh, preference and style. If 99% of the people think a person is beauty, then there is still 1% of people who don't agree. Luna was different. She has completely surpassed the concept of beauty. If 100 people saw her, then all 100 of them would be left speechless in her beauty. It's like having your soul and your very life force sucked out. Sucked out. Oh, 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 wait a minute. That's how astonishing and dangerous her beauty was. Standing in the stage, Luna didn't say a word. She scanned the crowd with a sharp stare. With just this simple move, she instantly silenced the crowd. <clears throat> Everyone, welcome to this graduation trip. Luna's voice was stern, powerful, but not at all unpleasant. We are deep under the sea, far away from the chaos and pollution of the city. This, another world, no humans, no consciousness can reach here. With that, everything that happens here are memories that only belong to us. Let us bore the time traveler and embrace the last moments of your youth. For these, for, for, for those who have regrets, let's go to the past. Oh, for, um, um, uh, yeah. For those who have desires, make good use of the present. For those who have hope, take strides towards the future. I hereby announce the time traveler begins now. Damn, bro, she is pretty cute, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That smile, adorable. The bell signaling the departure of the train sounded, and the students boarded the train. Oh, I can hear that. Carrying over a thousand, oh, carrying over a hundred th students, the train known as a time traveler rolled forward. In moments, the train, oh, the train left the station and plunged deep into the abyss that is the undersea tunnels. Bro, this is getting juicy. I love the character so far. The homie, the child of the best friend, the the writing, even the English translation. Wow! Cecile's eyes gleamed as she looked over the window. Wow, wow, wow! I really can't blame her for making all those weird sounds. 
because all the students have the exact same reaction. Outside the windows, large schools of fish swarm beside the train, so close as if you could reach out and touch them. Blue water, green seaweed, white rocks, pink coral, and the rainbow colors of the fishes together made a fantasy-like sight. The, ta uh, the train, <laughs> I'm sorry, the train traveled at a comfortable speed for sightseeing, giving us the free the feeling as if we were flying through the ocean. Ren, look, the outside, look outside. The seal grabbed my hand in excitement, pointing at the green creature outside the window. Piccolo. A tur oh, <laughs> my bad. There's a sea turtle. It said that those who touch sea turtles will have unfathomable fortune beneath them. They follow them. I'm retarded. You want to try? I do want to try that. But this is uh, underwater. How do I say? How do I do that? Well, <laughs> open the windows. <laughs> this game ends. Let me make a sea turtle swim swimming. Take out a sea turtle shaped chicken. Oh, that's adorable, bro. Uh, listen, listen. This game has replay value. We'll go back. I swear. Take out a sea turtle shaped keychain. I knew you were going to say that. So I prepared this. It's sea turtle plush here. You can touch it all you want, and as you look at the sea real sea turtles. Oh, Ren is rarely this considerate. You know what? Uh, I just... Just that the head's kind of broken off. Ah! Did she just slap me? Oh, yep. Cecile slammed the decapitated sea of plush into the ground. How could you do such a thing? To bring you good luck, I went out of the way to prepare this plushie. That thing wouldn't bring good luck. That thing would only curse you. You, under you underestimate the dexterity of sea turtles. They don't even mind if you have their heads intact or not. No, I'm pretty sure they'll just be, uh, not living. Just what do you think the sea turtles are? Of course they would mind. They would be dead. How about this? I picked up the decapitated sea turtle plushie. If I also pull off its arms and legs, it would look like a sea turtle is just curled up in its shell. Then it's all good. No! She snatches the turtle plushie away from me and held, held it tightly in her arms. <laughs> Poor kid. Mom will take good care of you from now on. It seems like I accidentally awakened her material material instincts. It's not quite I had in mind, but I guess I successfully let Seal touch a sea turtle. Hopefully it will bring her some good luck. Anyways, moving aside from that turtle looking thing. Turtle looking? Cecile, take a look at the window. Hmm? Although it looks like we're very close to the water, in reality, there are still tunnels of wa tunnel walls between the train and the open sea. The Cab Corporation constructed a transparent tunnel under the sea. The time travel runs inside the tunnels. I see. However, if the slightest crack or hole forms on tunnel walls, under the immense pre water pressure, the hole will probably grow extremely quickly, drowning everyone. You mean kind of like, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can go. Yeah, don't worry about it, girl. That would never happen. I see your face turn white. What a straightforward person. But then again, I probably said those things to see that expression of hers. Oh, I see you, bro. I see you. Is the time traveler such a scary ride? Ren! Why didn't you tell me that earlier? If I had known earlier, I, I would have. <laughs> it's too late to turn back now, stupid. Bravo insurance! Wait, wait, insurance? Damn, this bitch really is about money. Goddamn! It's my face. It's Oh, it's my face turned to turn white. <laughs> this woman is way too scary. She would totally sell her soul for money. No, 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 Ren. You misunderstand. Probably realizing what I was thinking, Cecile quickly waved her hands. Not insurance for me, but for you. <laughs> okay, okay. You're a bitch. I see. Wait, isn't that even scarier? What are you planning to do to me? Yo! Bro, relax! I pinched on her both, her, uh, both her cheeks hard and then repeatedly tapped on her arms, begging for mercy. Uh, how much more flirting do you guys plan on doing? It's irritating as hell. Ryan, I'm, I mean, Sol, I'm sorry, bro. I gotta teach her a lesson. You know how it be, man. Sol said while holding his chin up with his hands, visibly upset. We are not flirting! We waved our hands in unison. I can't imagine what it's like to be a couple with this person. <sighs> Explode, you pair of normies. Normies! Damn, it is Ryan! What is this guy upset about? But what I said was the truth. Seal and I have known each other for so long, we've already way past the point of being attracted to each other. Ah, uh, yo, that face begs to differ. I'll be real with you, Chief. Right then, an announcement was made through the train speakers. 
Yo, my future wife? Good day, everyone. I hope you are enjoying your trip. Luna's voice echoed in the car. It is already past noon. We have prepared a delicious meal for everyone at the sixth car. Those who are interested can head on there to enjoy our your meal. If you need any other kind of assistance or service, please consult our family's maid stationed in each car. Ooh, that's nice. If you maid silently appeared in front of us, I wonder where they were hiding before now. Pinned on the collars were the Kaiba family badges, shining bright. <laughs> wow. Mine is lit up with the size of the maids. <laughs> wow, 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 bro. Soul, I feel you, bro. I feel you. I grabbed Cecile's hand in excitement, pointing at the maids. I can't believe they're maids! This is the same reaction I had the scene started back then. I don't know how to feel about this. This is a great game, bro. So, it's perfect. To show the utmost enjoyment of students during this trip, no teacher or staff members per are participating. Whoa, really? That seems kind of dangerous. In place, Luna's family developed a large number of maids to act as our guardians. Oh, that makes sense. And to provide service on the time traveler. Following the maids' leads, we have arrived at the sixth car. Ah, oh, look, 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 you look, chibi. The sixth car, the dining car. In front of us were imaginable delicacies. All sorts of delicacies were placed on the tables, and we could take whatever we wanted. French blue lobster? I've never had lobster! Thirty dollars a pound! Ah! A5 Wagyu beef! Bro, that sounds amazing. I, I I've always wanted to try that. $160 a pound. My god, that's expensive. A giant crab, I don't know what it's called. A giant crab, I don't know how much a pound each costs. Oh my, I fuck, I'll... Name a better duo, I'll wait. I beg of you. I beg, I beg of you too. So covered his face with his hands. I'm embarrassed to say, I know you guys. Oh, sorry. I'm embarrassed to say, I know you too. Ren! The seal pouted, stopping me who had a lobster in one hand and a crab in the other. Didn't I tell you I already already to watch your manners in public? No, I don't think you are any better. Eh? Why? Hearing about what Sol said, Cecile looked at him in shock. After all the playing around, the three of us got into our servings of food and found us some vacant seats to sit down. To a beauty trip! To a beautiful trip! Cheers! The three of us raised our chips, our cups. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Our cups high and toasted. Is there a way to hide this? Oh, I almost, I, I almost. Hold on. There we go. Hell yeah! It's hard to believe that the three of us have been together for ten years already. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> it's hard to believe the three of us have been together for ten years already. Although sometimes we are in different classes, the three of us were always in the same school throughout elementary, middle school, and high school. Maybe it's all our good luck having struck sucked away by the two of you. I don't think I've met any nice guys. See, you are always besides Ren. Of course no other guys would dare approach you. So it's Ren's fault then. Hey, give me that lobster! I stopped her from snatching the lobster from my table. No, no, rather than giving this lobster to you, I'd rather you not be by my side in the future. So our friendship is worthless than a lobster? <laughs> that's right. You bastard. Oh, wait, that's me. I am actually the stupid. <laughs> Apologies. You bastard, you can't be a bit more polite in the way you speak? Ha <laughs> ha! Forcing my true feelings about any suddenly is my greatest virtue. No, no, no matter how you see it, that's clearly a shortcoming. We glared at each other as we fought over the lobster. You two always said things like that, but still stay together for these ten years. <laughs> oh, oh, he about to die. Because this kid's too worrisome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. Give me a break, you two. <clears throat> Give me a break, you two. So I'll sit with a tired expression. Speaking of which... What about you, Soul? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I get so into the way I forget to do the voices. Hmm? Any girls you like? 
Should I say, as expected from a girl, Cecile made made a really bright smile when she asked a question. Uh, about that. <laughs> of course he has, but he's told me to tell not, not to tell anyone. Although, he told me not to tell anyone anyways, he has taken a liking to a girl in the basketball club. I see, I see, what else did Sol say that he didn't want anyone else to know? She seems to be his first love, so he doesn't know what to do. Die! Ah, bro! <laughs> Why, bro? What are you doing? So swung a lobster at me. <gasps> well, not the lobster! Catch the lobster. Block the lobster with another lobster. You take the wagyu beef to block! I grab the piece of wagyu beef to block the lobster. <gasps> the lobster sliced through the stick, slamming into my head. Playing with food like this, you'll be punished by God! This lobster can banish all evil. If God sees this, he should be happy. I thought you already. I thought you knew already. Knew what? When you said don't tell anyone, I will tell other people because he didn't want me to tell anyone. I will tell you this. Then what is the point of me telling you not to tell anyone? Get up, Sol. You're in the wrong here. The CEO patted Sol's shoulder. When you tell Red any secrets, you should expect him not to hold any secrets. What's the point of telling people secrets expecting it to be spread? You are at fault for telling secrets to this kind of person. I even think you should apologize to Ren. That's right, come and apologize! How dare you trust me! Apologize! <sighs> you two are teaming up against me now? So confess, who is the girl? Damn, bro, my man in love! <laughs> Sheesh! But we're gonna find out in the next episode of the Rail of Mobius. Tra train of Mobius? I'm. Yeah, if you guys want to see more, slap a like. I'm really enjoying this vision novel. It's been a long time since I've been this in-depth into the one. The last one I played, uh, My Girlfriend's Secret, is also a great one. So if you guys haven't already, go check it out. It's another great vision novel with time looping. And uh, we're going to play the full game around September. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, and if you made it this far into the video, in the comments down below, uh, say, um, Ren's a, a G. Ren's, I don't know. Ren's a, uh, goodbye, everyone.